say hi vlog hi wingy look at you on the hardwood hello you guys welcome back to the vlog i just wrapped up a meeting and i have my back door open if you guys can hear the birds it's such a nice day and i've been letting the dogs go in and out hi baby and the dogs are so excited that i'm home rue has not left my side and winnie girl you guys can see her i didn't plan on vlogging today and then my camera was sitting on the counter and i was like you know what i'm just gonna pull out the camera i'm getting a tattoo later today so i thought i would bring you guys along there is a lady in town her name is sydney i believe and she's from or i think she's based it's either utah or colorado I'll put her information later when I go um, get the tattoo. I'm gonna try to film while I'm there. And she does tiny tats. And I wanted to get like something on my arm or add something to my hand. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. There's like a few ideas I have. So I thought I would just go ahead and do a little bit of like a few days vlog for you guys. So I wanted to start it off. We're back from Coachella. It's nice to be home. My house is a literal mess. Probably, you probably see a little bit of it back there, but I have all my luggage like sprawled out all in the hallway. I need to go through dirty clothes. I need to start laundry, which I have some of Dylan's clothes in right now, but I've just been working all morning, getting caught up with work. Um, even though I was like working while I was at Revolve Festival, I um, have like other brand things and campaigns I needed to get sent over, edited. I just edited my Coachella pack and prep. So that's exporting right now. And I'm gonna get that up today and then my actual like Revolve Festival vlog tomorrow. I didn't even go to Coachella except one night. So mostly like Revolve Festival, but I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Both of those vlogs will have been up, but that's kind of what's up. I just unpackaged a little box from Rode, the new lip treatments. I believe it's the Passion Fruit. Lily actually won this out of the, they had like a claw machine at Revolve Fest and it was like Rode products in it. It was actually pretty cute, like a cute idea. And this is the new scent and it's actually really good. I love it. Only thing with the Rode products is I feel like the, um, like, I feel like they come off my lips easily. I feel like the Laneige stays on and maybe even Summer Friday stays on longer, but I do really like the product. I just don't think it stays on that long. And I find myself always reapplying, but I got three of them. So I'm gonna put those in my purse, probably one in my car, one in my bathroom, one in my purse. That's what I always do. Back to work, it feels like a Monday, even though it's Wednesday, it is what, two o'clock. My tattoo appointment's at four o'clock and then I need to hit the grocery store because we have no groceries and I just need to get my life back organized. So this is gonna be like a reset, even though it's Wednesday um, and we're halfway through the day already. We got Starbucks this morning, had a little bit of breakfast and now we're here. So that's what's up, I just wanted to start off the vlog. I will pick the camera back up and we're heading to the tattoo place. I just wanted to say hi, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a great week. I don't know when this video is going up because I'm so behind I feel like, but. I have a little bit of time before I leave, so I just started to unpack a little bit. I have all the jewelry that Stephanie let me borrow for Lily class. I'm gonna run it to her house tomorrow, but I just bagged everything back up with how it was and organized it. And then I have her bag right here, which <laughs> I'm sad to give back, you guys. It's the most stunning bag. It's by the brand YSL. I got a lot of questions on it. Um, and I think she got it years ago, but really, really stunning. All the jewelry I wore at Coachella and Revolve Festival, um, all from Lily Clasp. I will link their website below, but they have such, such good stuff. Really good body jewelry, really cute. These are like ear cuffs that they go into your ear. It's a stud. So good. I'm obsessed with arm cuffs right now and silver jewelry. This is like an all silver look that I wore. I was obsessed with it. So got all that together, but this is the reality of it. I have this, which is all full of product. I need to go through like what is going on. And then we have a whole nother big mess right here. So this is what I'm going to work on for a little bit. Um, I need to dust off these shoes that I wore because they got so filthy. Heading out for the tattoo, I wanted to show you guys my little outfit because I've had this top for the longest time. I never really knew what to wear with it. And I put on these really cute, let me show you guys the material up close, really thick ribbed biker shorts from Cuts. I'm obsessed with them. Really flattering, honestly. And then this is nice because it's really long and I just have it like kind of tucked up. And I think it's really cute. So sunglasses are from Ghani. I got them in store in LA. I will link them because I think that they're on their website. Elsa Studio Top off Revolve, but I think it might be sold out. You can probably get it off of her website. Like I said, shorts are from Cuts, and then my shoes are Isabel Marant sneakers that I literally live in, and they're so dirty and trash. I need to get another pair, but 
I'm obsessed with them and these little ankle socks are from Target. Done. I'm so excited. They were actually really quick. I thought I was going to be in there much longer and I literally went in not even knowing what I wanted, but I'm really happy with them and they're like the fine line tattoos and a artist. Her name is Sydney. I will put her Instagram here if you guys want to follow her work. If you're like interested in getting tiny tattoos, fine line tattoos. She lives in Utah, but she always comes to Nashville and like books clients. So if you guys are in Nashville, she travels and her prices are much more affordable i would say um than the place that i go to new york but if you guys are wondering in new york i go to west four tattoo they did all of this hand and i'm obsessed but got this little line on my thumb which i showed you guys a little clip i just felt like the thumb area was bare right here and i wanted something i like when you look at my hand you can't see it but then from the side it shows through and then i also got 10.99 10.99 i've been doing my taxes too long rest right here i am obsessed with the placement of this one um i got 10.98 and it's danny's birthday so that's the tats that i got today she's coming back in july and she said depending on how i like how these heal if they look exactly identical to the ones on my hand she's gonna touch up my hand for me because some of the ones on my finger are coming off just like a few little dots here and there so obsessed again i'll put her instagram on the screen if you guys want to check her out She's the coolest, sweetest, so easy to talk to. But now I'm gonna head to the grocery store because we have no groceries and I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Um, and then I need to go to the post office too because I need to return all of these boxes from like stuff that I didn't wear at Coachella. I had like two extra outfits planned for Coachella and I really didn't even get to around to wearing them all. So I'm gonna return them because I do not need them. Hi, you guys. I've not spoke to the camera yet. It's been a second. I've had a busy morning. I went to LMR, which is like a skin studio, and we went over some like skin goals for me, um, like with some treatments and stuff. So I ran off to that, and then I came home. I grabbed a smoothie, protein smoothie from Ian Rose Wellness, literally my favorite. And I wanted to jump on here because this morning I took my Seed DS01 Daily Symbiotic, and I wanted to talk to you guys about these because I'm on my gut health kick right now. Um, I started taking these about two weeks ago. I actually brought this little travel size jar with me to Coachella, which I love. These glass jars are refillable, so there's like no waste. So I always just take them out of here whenever I'm traveling and put them in here. And then whenever you need a refill, since it's like a monthly subscription, they send these little packets. So next month I will rip this one open and just 
refill my jar. I take two of these daily. It is a pre and probiotic all in one, a two in one situation, which we love. And I take on an empty stomach like before I have breakfast or coffee or anything like that, which I also love because sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I am not hungry right away, but I like how you can take these on an empty stomach. Like I said, I am back on my gut health kick journey, whatever you want to call it. And this is formulated to help your gut thrive. I'll show you guys. Um, the capsule It is formulated with 24 clinically and scientifically studied strains for the whole body benefits. Promotes healthy regularity, which who doesn't love? Supports bloaties, which I also love, especially when I'm traveling. These will never not come with me again when I'm traveling. I took them religiously in Palm Springs and I feel like I felt so good. I didn't really have any issues with like going to the bathroom or anything like that. That's like TMI, but I feel like it's something that not a lot of people talk about when I'm traveling. It's like such an issue for me. So this is such a game changer. I also know that there are so many pre and probiotics out there um, that it's sometimes like you're like, which brand, what do I choose? But I love Seed because there's so much research and study that goes into this product. It is a product that is rooted in science. And I love that because I love being able to support my gut my skin and my heart health every single day just with two capsules two in ones you can knock both out at the same time it's also free from dairy gluten gmos preservatives all the gross stuff actually gonna take the leftover travel ones out of here and put back into my big one because i'm home for a while but there's also no refrigeration necessary which i really like because when you're traveling sometimes that's such a hassle like worrying about keeping your things cold supplements Pre probiotics, whatever you guys bring with you when you're traveling. I love that the seed DS01 daily symbiotic does not require refrigeration. So nice. I also did a little bit of research about it on my own before I like promoted and talked about it with you guys. So after doing my own research, I love seed because the most important thing to me is to actually make sure that the probiotic strains are making it to my gut alive. So the capsule and capsule via cap actually protects the bacteria from oxygen, moisture, and heat through shipping. So when it arrives to you, it is still all good to go. I do have a code for you guys. It is Rachel A20. It gets you 20% off of your first month subscription with seed on their DS on one daily symbiotic so check them out i'll have it here on the screen i'll also link it down below but let's do it all together we can take our seat every morning it's honestly so easy there's no excuse not to so use that code it'll get you 20 percent off which is good a little bit of savings and i'll have it linked down below in the description for you guys as well so but yeah i've been on the seed kick and i don't think i'll go back because i've just felt really good recently so i just wanted to share that with you guys in case any of you guys needed something for gut health as well but i will link it down below for you all um i just took it this morning and it reminded me that i hadn't really talked about them yet over here on youtube so i'm gonna sit down and do some computer work finish this little bit left to have of this protein smoothie and then i wanted to show you guys some products and things that i got from elemar it's a skin place here in nashville like i mentioned to you guys earlier this is where i went earlier i ripped the bag because they sent me home with so many products i'm so excited i actually have used this line of products before what is it called zoo skin health sent me home with a bunch of stuff to try out and talked with someone about skincare goals like what i'm looking to accomplish with my skin and some like treatments that i'm gonna start so that was really nice if you guys are looking for an area to do like um they do facials they do hydrofacials microneedling all that stuff they also do like botox talks and things if that's if you're into that like lip filler all that kind of stuff but they sent me on with two cleansers i'm really excited they said that this is like one of their most popular just like a gentle cleanser and then also an exfoliant she said will help with my pores and my pore size dealing with clogged pores so i'm excited to try this and then just some other little random things so i'll keep you guys updated also a new sunscreen for me to try that i'm excited about so that's where I was this morning. I've been sitting at the computer. This is where Rue sits because I don't have an office at the house. I used to have a desk upstairs, but we made it into a bedroom. So I sit here like on this kitchen island. I've been editing the Coachella vlog, which I need to get up, but I have so much footage. It's taking me longer than I wanted. To be quite honest, I have a huge mess. I made this pile of products because I'm gonna do a giveaway, which I will talk about in the next vlog. So make sure you guys are staying up to date with the vlogs, but I have literally insane amount of products i went through my pr stuff i also am going to add like a little gift card in here and i'm just excited i've been wanting to do a giveaway for the longest time and i feel like now is the perfect time so that'll be coming probably in the next vlog i need to figure out like the logistics of it and then i just had an exciting delivery to the door 
just funny. I think it's funny when you get alcohol sent to you and you have to sign for it and like show your ID, but I'm really excited to try this tequila. I actually have been on a tequila kick, which is so unheard of for me. I used to never drink it. I think it's because when I go to Revolve events, I drink like the 818, but I'm really excited to try this out. It's a, what is it? Rosé tequila. I also got this delivered like literally before I left town from Amazon and it's a shelf. You guys can see. It's like not anything cute, but... It's gonna go in the closet and I wanna put it together, but I'm like, I think Dylan gets home from work early today, so I might just, <laughs> I think I might wait on him to set this up for me. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna move it over here. I need to run to the grocery store. We have no groceries. I only went to the grocery store last night and got stuff just for last night's dinner. And then I have to come back and get some more work done. I really put off a lot of campaigns and projects and editing until I got back into town. And so now I'm just kind of slammed with editing and stuff. But honestly, I wouldn't trade it. I love editing my own content and I love editing my own videos. I feel like if I didn't edit my own videos, I'd be out of touch a little bit with what I was actually putting up on the internet. And so I feel proud of myself for still editing all my own stuff. Um, but it definitely is just like super time consuming because I try to keep the vlogs long for you guys but it just takes hours and hours and I have to watch through cause I need to like triple check everything and I'm just like a freak about my work. So anyways, I have some editing to do but I'm gonna run to the grocery store first because I wanna go to the store before five o'clock hits and then the stores are like crazy and the traffic's crazy. Also, we're gonna tell you guys where my outfit was from. A little outfit of the day. This little cardigan is so cute. It's really light and soft for spring. It's from American Vintage and then I'm wearing little vintage Levi's from this vintage store in new york and then i'm wearing platform reeboks and they're so cute ankle socks are from ritzia dylan is so cute every morning well not every morning but some mornings he'll move the plants off the front porch to get sun he's like so proud of his landscape <laughs> okay we're heading to the grocery store good how are you good what can i get for you could I get um, a vanilla sweet cream cold brew, a grande? Anything else? Um, just a little extra ice in there. Alright, anything else? That's it. Okay, I have your for you. Thank you. It's a very <laughs> vulnerable state right now as I just failed my exam. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sitting in the corner of your room? Back from the store, I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but I was honestly right by the Publix, and I was like, I'm just gonna go to Publix because I like to get my meat from Publix anyways, and I wanted to do some chicken thighs for dinner. I'll show you guys dinner tonight. I just randomly found a recipe off Pinterest. It's like lemon, garlic, chicken thighs. So I got chicken thighs. I got a rotisserie chicken to dice up tomorrow and make like a chicken salad. I love having this in the fridge, like meal prepped for lunches. I got some of these, which are literally my favorite. I pick them up every time I'm at Publix. Um, some baby potatoes to go with dinner tonight with asparagus as our sides, parsley for the chicken, marinade, lemon. These apples looked just like yummy honey crisp, so I got two of those. Some ranch seasonings. Hang on, the dogs are freaking out. Whole milk to make the ranch. I also got some mayonnaise. It was buy one, get one free, so now we're <laughs> stocked up. That's why I like Publix. I feel like they're always doing like a buy one, get one free situation. I got some fruit for the mornings. Um, cotton candy grapes, these are good if you put some of them in the freezer for like a little dessert. And then strawberries, raspberries, tomatoes. I think that's it. I wish I wasn't like this, but I am, but I'm the type of grocery shopper that Grocery, like I go to the store and pick up the ingredients that I need like for each meal um, I can't like sit there and prep out my week because sometimes I'll be in the mood to cook dinner And then sometimes I won't be and we'll just randomly like eat out or grab something quick Which I'm thankful for like with my flexibility for work. Um, I can go and do that So I'm thankful that I get to do that. I know some people will do like a big batch grocery shop for the week but I'm like the type of grocery shopper that goes for like each meal, depending on like what we're feeling that night. So we live so close to a Publix that it just kind of makes sense. Like it's literally a two minute drive from our house. So anyways, I'm gonna put my groceries up and look at Rue. Are you the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life? Are you? You are, oh my God, you are. Dylan's middle brother, Kellen, and his girlfriend 
took another one of the puppies from this litter. So they have a dog that literally looks just like Rue. And this morning she went into heat, which if you don't know what that means, it's like when a female dog gets her period and they're like freaking out. And she's like, oh my God, I should have fixed her earlier because I was the first one to fix Rue. And now she's like, oh my God, she's going into heat. Which if you never have dealt with that before, it's like kind of a mess. But anyways, you are so sweet. Did you miss me while I was gone? You did? Did you miss me while I was gone? I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Tattoos are healing up nicely. I took the bandage off and then I just put some of the like recovery cream on there. Ruth thinks that I have something for her. This one might be my new favorite. I'm obsessed with it. This stuff up here is for people. It's not for you. She's like almost counter height. <laughs> I just got everything prepped for the chicken marinade. It needs to marinate for two hours. It's currently four o'clock, so I'll let it marinate to like 6.30. And then when Dylan gets home, we can make dinner. But I'll link this recipe. It's from damndelicious.net. <laughs> and it's like a lemon garlic chicken. I like to, when I cook, get everything out and like ready. Um, I don't really do measurements. I just eyeball everything. Unless I like know that it's gonna be crucial to the recipe. You get everything out and prepped. It's just easy to throw everything into the bowl. So we've got chicken stock. Make sure that they're all in there. Three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon. I would say that's one, one and a half. If you guys don't have a like a citrus squeezer, you get so much more juice. You do it like that. Garlic press, this is also, oh shoot. Five second rule. Five second rule. You don't have a garlic press either. These are game changer. Look at that. Two teaspoons, so. Tiny bit of this. Somehow got on Aritzia's PR list and I get to pick out some stuff like every now and then and I placed an order and part of it came in and I'm so excited. I feel like this is so um, coastal cowgirl summer and I got the set. So it's from Aritzia, I can link it. Dylan and I, fingers crossed, we're going on a fun trip with Lily and Andy this summer and this little outfit would be so cute there. Pick the top. I got small and medium, and you can like leave the bottom untied and like have the stomach out. So stinking cute. Thank you, Ritzia, if any of you guys are watching this. I don't know how I ended up on the list, but I'm here for it. I got too impatient and I decided to just like try to build this by myself and it was actually so easy. Um, I got this off Amazon. I think it was maybe a hundred bucks and it's gonna go in my closet to hold, like won't we'll focus. I'm gonna go in my closet against that wall to hold like shoes, hats, bags, just like literally anything to get it up off the floor. There we go, my camera was in the wrong setting, but it goes up against the wall and then you nail it in so it'll sit straight. It won't sit at an angle like this. But that part I'm gonna wait on Dylan to help me with because I feel like I'll need more hands. But really wasn't hard to put together. I'll link it for you guys if you're needing more storage like me. Bob the Builder's home. <laughs> carry this up the stairs. Oh yeah, you're carrying I'll this. I'll carry this. The tool bag. Thank you. <laughs> We're just chewing on the bag. Okay, show me where it's going. Upstairs. Our closet. Okay. It's going in our closet because I have no storage. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is going in our closet? <laughs> yeah. I hope it fits. It's not. <laughs> Rachel, are you. <laughs> no, like it seriously has to fit. 
It will, I have faith. What, are you going to put it on my side? Yeah, your side. <laughs> so fit. And then all these shoes that have been on the floor will finally have a home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are I you do. glad that I put it together so you didn't have to? I knew you wouldn't want to take your time off of work to do it, so I did it. Do you love that? Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> no, it doesn't come off the ground. I actually kind of like it. Definitely makes it feel tight in here, though. There's, there's two more down here. The shelf is up, and it's so much better than having everything on a pile on the floor or in a pile on the floor i have just like my slides and summer shoes for right now and then my hats that i wear like every day i have all my seagull and stable hats and then all my 112s hats i they normally go back here and i felt like they were getting smushed oh i have one more 112s actually i have two more these here okay so i have the rest of like random brands here and so now when i shut my door they're not all like getting smashed and falling off but to be honest these are really the only two hats that I wear and then all my summer slides that I've been getting in the mail recently or even just like shoes in general that pile up here I mean I can probably even double stack maybe get some like little acrylic double stack things and fit a bunch more shoes because it's kind of disorganized right now but this is my sneaker little section and it's always full because I'm obsessed with sneakers and I refuse to get rid of them guys I've worn today go right there but yeah, so now all my shoes have a home. Extra space on here, and I also ordered a sunglass rack organizer thing that I'll probably put on this wall right here. I'm just trying to make do with the space I have, like try to get as much use out of it. And honestly, I still have plenty of room. This up here, some of my boots started to fall, so I need to get Dylan to get up there on a ladder and help me with those. But I try to keep it as organized as possible. But you know. If you're a girl, you know, it's hard. <laughs> I can also use this new little rack as my tripod in my closet now. Show you guys a little bit more of like styling and how I put outfits together. I know I want to get better at that, like going through the process of like picking out an outfit. But half the time I'm in comfy clothes anyways, so. I'm glad this is done. This has been sitting in a box for like two and a half weeks at our front door. And so I'm glad that it is finally up. It's something I've been putting off. Um, but I'm going to go downstairs, make dinner, hang out with Dylan. I'll show you guys dinner, how it turns out. The chicken has been marinating for like three and a half hours. So should be good. Okay, so how I always cook any type of chicken. When I do chicken breast, chicken thighs, anything, I put the oven on 375. And then I always use this cast iron skillet. Um, we don't have a grill at this house, so... I preferably love to grill these, especially for summer. I like love the grill, but um, we don't have one. So I use this and whenever I'm using this, I do avocado oil because it handles higher heat better. I'm pretty sure, at least, at least that's what someone told me. <laughs> I'm gonna let that get hot. And then once that's like really, really hot, I sear the chicken. I'll show you guys, but I sear the chicken on one side, flip it, and then I finish it off in the oven. I feel like it doesn't ever dry out your chicken. Okay, chicken. Here it goes. Can you get the air fryer out of that bottom cabinet? Yeah. Thank you. Look at how yummy dinner looks. Damn, I really stole all the asparagus. Nighttime skincare. I'm gonna wash my face. Dinner was so good. I will link that chicken recipe below for you guys. Doing skincare. And then Dylan and I are gonna watch some basketball on the couch. I think the Suns are playing. I really don't care about, but I want the Suns to win because of Lily and Andy. They like the Suns. The Zo Skin Health Oil Control Pads. It's like an acne treatment pad that they gave me at Elmar. Are so good. I've been using them for, I got them when I got my hydrofacial. I brought them to Palm Springs and I'm obsessed. They make my skin feel so clean. And I've noticed a little slow but surely change in my skin. I'm gonna start doing a hydrofacial again every month because she suggested that today and said that she thinks that'll help. And they also offer like this certain type of 
um, hydrofacial that is for acne prone skin. Still using the Youth Serum that I talked to you guys about. Acne Medicine on. I really just grab a random one every night. This is the Tatcha Lip Mask. My face feels so good. I know it's from those pads. Rue, why are you laying like that? Why do you look like the cutest dog I've ever seen? Ready? Get it. I don't know what it is, but at night I've been loving a perfume. I used to never do this, but lately I've been loving it. And I kind of like the muskier ones at night. This is um, Jazz Club by Replica, and I've been obsessed with it. I need to do a little perfume tour. I have so many perfumes that I love. I don't really use just one. I would say the Baccarat one I use the most, but there's a bunch that I like. This is my first time trying this. I just got it at the gifting in Palm Springs. It's Olaplex's dry shampoo, which I didn't even know that they had. But I, oh, it smells so good. Um, I do dry shampoo at night because I feel like that's when my hair gets oily. I think that wraps up the day. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Go hang out with Dylan for a little bit. Go have a little dessert on the couch with Dylan, probably one of those ice cream bars. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and I love you all. Night. <laughs>